Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Victory for the Dual Monarchy mod, in which we are playing as the Ottoman Empire, so the Great Ottoman Climb, shall we? If you'd like to read about the current version, 1.03.2, please go right ahead. Awesome. Thank you for letting us know. Once the greatest empire in existence, spanning three continents and ruling over millions of people, the Ottoman Empire has declined by the late 19th century, to the point of being known as the sick man of Europe. An inability to industrialize, the non-existence of an educated middle class, and a chronic lack of funds meant that the Ottoman state had dropped back well behind the European powers by 1876, when Abdul Hamid II took the throne. At the time, the Ottoman Empire... Ottoman army was still reeling from the shock of the Russo-Turkish War of 1877. The Ottoman treasury had just been declared bankruptcy, or declared bankruptcy, and several interest groups were scheming to obtain political control of the empire. These weaknesses led the empire to see closer cooperation with European powers. Prussian military successes against France led the empire to form a military and economic ties with the Germans, culminating in the construction of the Berlin-Baghdad Railway in 1888. During his reign, Abdul Hamid II launched massive education programs and made desperate diplomatic maneuvers to keep his empire intact, while at the same time he engaged in the systematic repression of opposition groups in an effort to maintain his absolute rule. Despite these efforts, a revolt of the young Turks in 1908, a subsequent dethronement of Abdul Hamid II in 1909, and a bloody coup in 1913 meant that in the days leading up to the Weltkrieg, the Ottoman Empire was ruled by a triumvirate of the three pashas, Enver, Talat, and Semal, or Chemal, or... I don't speak Turkish, sorry. In 1914, as the Valkyrie began in Europe, the young Turk government secretly signed a treaty with the Germans, and soon after joined the war against the Entente powers, God saved the empire with a narrow victory. During the first years of the Valkyrie, the Ottoman Empire suffered major defeats against the British in Mesopotamia and the Russians in the Caucasus. Following the fall of the city of Damascus in October 1918, the Ottoman army retreated back towards Anatolia. Here they tried to hold on against the Allied advance until the Austro-Hungarians and Germans managed to break the deadlock in the Western Front. But a sudden air revolt in Mosul caused the Ottoman army to collapse. The way to Constantinople lay open, but Sultan Abdulmesed II surrendered before they could even enter the heart of the empire. The Sultan agreed to pay back the debts the Ottomans had owed or had towards the members of the Entente that invested in the Ottoman Public Debt Administration. This plunged the Ottomans into a very, very heavy recession. But its allies managed to still defeat the Entente powers, and by April 1919, all Entente powers had surrendered. However, the Ottomans were not invited to the Treaty of Vienna. According to the Germans and Austro-Hungarians, the Ottomans had contributed very little to the war. <coughs> and were unable to annex territories due to their current economic position. Bulgaria demanded that the Ottomans should cede the territory of Adrianople to them and that the Bosphorus Strait be demilitarized. With Germany and Austria-Hungary supporting their demand, the Ottomans agreed. With this, the Ottomans were allowed to retake their lost territories in Mesopotamia and Palestine, but the Arab revolts had now united under Saudi Arabia. To <coughs> Excuse me. Then they, together with Egypt and Persia, were not happy with the remaining Ottoman presence within the Middle East. The Ottoman Empire is still under major threat, and if it does not reform quickly enough and control its widespread corruption, the Empire's truce or true end will happen not so long from now. God save the Empire, which we shall choose a focus in this not super large focus tree. But all focus trees do not need to be super large. We have the Navy, the Air Force, the Army, which actually might be really good to do. But we're going to do Masters of the State. The Ottomans are in a very dire political situation, and we need to stop our downfall before it all becomes too big, because I know that everything is going to eventually collapse. I don't know how it's going to collapse, I don't know when it's going to collapse, but I have a good feeling, as I've seen from other campaign, or campaigns in the du Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod that we're currently using, things don't go very well for us. The Ottoman Public Debt Administration. Founded in 1881, the Ottoman Public Debt Administration, OPTA, was in a European-controlled organization that monitored and collected debt owed by the Ottoman state to European creditors and the private and public sectors. Most of the debt has been owed to the French and British governments as well as private institutions. After the Ottoman army had been defeated by the British in Anatolia, the Sultan agreed to surrender and we had to pay their debts back. As a consequence of their later defeat in the Valkyrie, the Ottoman Empire the government declared the debts default. However, the OPDA is still in existence and is now fully controlled by German and Austro-Hungarian administrators, mainly concerned with regaining the capital loan to Constantia during the well, Weltkrieg. With threats like these, we lose political power. But, as I just said, we are using the State Chester Tool Mod as well as player-led peace conferences. Oh my goodness, what is this? Will abort if... Oh, canceled payments is at war with them, does not exist, subject of the country. Same thing with these guys. Okay, cool. Suppress military factions. There exist factions within a military that hold loyalties than other to the Sultan. These ideological, nationalistic, and even religious cliques loyal to various hidden societies will be dealt will be the death of our armed forces if something isn't done. We need to fight the corruption. Oh boy. 
master of the state. <clears throat> so there's corruption here, huh? So dissolve parliament. We have to be after 1937, huh? Oh boy. Well, protests. Where is corruption? Oh, I want to get rid of corruption, please. I don't like corruption. I guess unless. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's not good. We gotta wait till 1937. Oh boy, that's not good. Industrial initiatives might be pretty good. We have an economic recovery. Uh, but yeah, corruption. It's only good if, as long as I'm building, I'm doing it. So, uh, let's see. Hmm. To get 100 political powers, let's do that one. Our army in the Vel Creek was atrocious. We have to modernize our tactics and teach a sense of discipline to our armed forces. And I'd like to go down that way. I I, I normally like doing the industry stuff, and it's pretty cool because you get factories and all, and eventually you get another research slot. It looks like. Yep. But oh, we do go to oh, we get some guy who helps us build civilian factories. Actually, plus 15 percent, not bad. Nice. And we do only three uh, research slots, so. I would like to get as much army XP as possible then first. Just so we can do that one thing there. Mobilization speed, more population. Preemptive mobilization, nice. I would like to suppress military factions. Rebuild Ottoman intelligence. Our old agencies, the Yid's organization and special organization of the cup, have degenerated into corrupt paramilitary organizations more than concer more concerned with backstabbing each other than gathering foreign intelligence. This must be corrected. Uh, I'm not sure we'll actually be able to do any of this then, because we can't fight the corruption. Oh boy. Yes, it's not going to go. And we're doing basic machine tools, construction one, and now mechanical computing. Oh, no. Oh, I want to fight the corruption, but... Okay, maybe t taking this path was not really worth it. Um, Let's see. Oh, some divisions? Okay, not bad. Now, I'll put my guys over here, just because I have a good feeling that, uh, well... Things aren't going to go super great for us. So, let's go and train. We're led by Mustafa Kamal Pasha, so... We're going to hold the line here, just because I don't know how bad it's going to be down here. Because we have to fight these guys, and probably these guys, and then probably these guys. So, it's probably not going to go very good for us. Just saying. But what can we do in the meantime? Free trade. Uh, oh, we, oh my goodness. We have to be at war. We have more war support. For this, oh, we'll probably go to the silent workhorse. I love the silent workhorses. 0.5 a day. Good lord. And we have the national spirit. Decline of the empire, which... Oh, it hurts so bad for political power. Minus 25%. Percent. Oh, and, oh, the... Debt. Oh, good God. Can I, can I get rid of the debt? Like, can I just say, nah, no debt for today. But anyways, after this one, well, I guess there's really no point to, eh, well, there's still a point to do this. We will need more manpower, too, so. Well, we'll just do industrial initiatives. We will never be considered a major power if our industry isn't up to snuff. Or, which is literally what it read there. Okay, I didn't even realize what it said there. Thank you, devs. We must start rebuilding the Ottoman industry. I didn't even know that it was going to say it. That if our industry isn't up to snuff. That's what I just normally say. Thank you, devs. I love it. Hmm. Now we get a whole point eight, So we got point three more every day. Not bad. That's actually pretty... That's, I, I say that's worth it. And do some ships. Oh, some new ships. Oh, I guess go over there. Because we got some battleships, which are probably not that very good. Never mind. Battle cruisers. Battle cruisers, huh? Uh, it's not a god-awful design. It's just not a very good design. That's all. All right. Well... Let's get some more civilian factories, shall we? Anatolia is a major region in our empire that must not be neglected when we are developing our country. Nice. So we got that stuff. It is 36. Uh, we're already going down Grand Battle Plan, so I'm just going to go and go down that way. I think it's, Grand Battle Plan is usually pretty good for defense, I think, if I remember correctly. So, cool. Yeah, after that, I'll probably just go develop Mesopotamia just because... You never know if people might rise up against us, and if they do, that wouldn't be very good. Every do infrastructure in every state would not be bad. I kind of don't mind doing this stuff too. Uh, expand the central region. We need to get rid of OPDA before. Oh, that sucks. We need one of the following. Okay, okay. So maybe after this, one, we'll actually go down this way because as much as I'd like to do this, we can't do it. So, uh, so we won't do develop Mesopotamia yet. Expand the Iron Web. Our railroads are severely, severely outdated. We must expand and develop our current railroads. After we do this, we'll be able to transport goods and military personnel more effectively. Nice. So, let's go with economy. Uh, I'm looking for mobilization. Uh, conscription, not conscription, but uh, um, the economic part of this stuff. Oh, ODPA negotiations. Okay. Oh, so we're going to do that stuff. Just because I want to see if we can change this to something else. Let's go to type in mobilization. Mobilization. Nope, that's literally the only thing. Okay. Um, war economy. No. Or partial. Nope. All right. So it's it's probably safe to assume that we can just choose this one immediately. But let's see. Who else do we have? Dinner. Financial goods. It'd be cool if we had two silent workhorses. I think that would be really, really cool. I'm going to, what are we building anyways? We're building some civvies. It's coming along. It's not too bad, actually. 
But I think I want Grand Battle Plan. 15%. I mean, 5% more is just, in my opinion, never enough. Just not worth it for 100 more political power. What's the point? You spend 100 more political power to get 5% more for research speed, which isn't that bad, but no, political power can be spent on other things, so. I love it, the devs. Thank you, devs, so much. Look at this. You have unique companies, industrial concerns, just corporations. I love it. But the effects of the stock market crash reaches, reaches the Ottoman Empire. On August, Monday, August 3rd, the stock market crash of Vienna opened its doors with yet another major decline in value compared to last week, but this time it caused massive chaos amongst the shareholders who tried to save their invested money. This caused several Austro-Hungarian banks and companies to go bankrupt, and we we're also feeling the effects of the crash on our countries facing economic depression. Uh, no one likes depression, man. Well, I guess maybe someone does in the world, but not me. That's why you bury all your emotions and don't think about it. There we go. Anyways, uh, don't ask me anything about that. Anyways, all right. So we have depression here, but we need to have an economic recovery. Our, v our uh, economy managed to go even further into ruin because of the Vienna stock market crash. We must begin recovery efforts to rectify the depression we have been put into and hopefully get us out of the one we were in before the stock market crash pushed us further down. Oh, so lose stability. Uh, uh, I mean, that could be... It's not great. It's really not great. Don't get me wrong, but... It could be a whole lot worse. And actually, let's take a look at our army. So we're back building some infantry divisions, as we've already established. They're literally just guys with guns. So, it's okay. We've got some cavalry divisions as well. We have a few mountaineers, which isn't bad. We've got some... Garrison divisions with artillery. Okay. I'm actually going to duplicate this. And I, I don't mind actually making regular garrisons. Uh, these guys don't have artillery. If they take two off, eh, it's still better to put on artillery. What are we making right now? We have some artillery, so actually, you guys, I'm going to throw the artillery on you all, just because we could really use you. Uh, we'll be, we're going to be way out of artillery, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, we began the economic recovery. I love the victory of the dual monarchy mod, just because how fast we are pushing through. Just because a lot of the countries don't have unique focus trees, but that, that's totally okay. Totally okay. Of course, it's, it's based on vanilla, so what do you expect? Export focus? Get more political power? Not bad. We are, currently are on free trade. I do like that extra construction speed bonus, but we get 50 more political power. Privatization. Mm, for a couple of while. Begin the public works. Uh, let's do this one. Uh, oh, things take so long. But privatizing a lot of businesses, we give the public a chance to kickstart the economy by creating competition between companies. Cool. Very cool. All right. Approved working conditions would not be bad. Anti-democratic raids. And we are currently the Salamet I. Osmanie. I swear, I totally know all sorts of Turkish, as you can tell. I am Mr. Turkish. Totally. <laughs> Alright. Serbia gains independence. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm playing as the Ottoman Empire because, well, first of all, they have unique focus trees. Not large, but that's totally okay. And someone did recommend I play as the Ottoman Empire. So, so I did. We might play as Russia. Some, well, actually, I've already played as Russia once. The Soviets, Serbs, maybe Italy, France. Actually, France would be interesting to play as. Flandern, Valonia? Hmm. No unique focus tree, but that's okay. Not every country needs a unique focus tree. Who am I kidding? Of course they do. Of course they do. What are we making here? Oh, these are just destroyers. Why, why am I making destroyers? I did not edit this part. My bad. I say I do everything off screen, but there's always something I miss. So you guys are actually not that bad. Uh, I'll do this. I don't want these anymore, so goodbye. Um, don't even want to bother with that stuff. Uh, these folks are okay, but these guys are 28 speed, 25 speed. Wow. Um, honestly, you're, you're battleships, but you're faster than over here. You have level 1 engines, and these guys have level 2 engines. Okay, well, there you go. Good luck. Wow, 19. Well, shnikes. Uh... Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Maybe we should go to free trade next, or export focus. Yeah, maybe we should do that. But I like the public works. So reduce the land tax. It'd be so nice, though. Limit our exports, I think, we will go from that. Uh, no, it, 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 everything takes so long. 35 days. You know, I want that political power now. By buying less from other countries, we will reduce spending and we'll keep more money to pay off the debts we owe. This is a sure way to get us out of this economic depression faster. Buying less from other countries. So we limit our exports, so we raise our tariffs. Or reduce spending. Well, hmm. I'm not an economist. Don't take financial advice from me. I'm just a guy here who loves playing Hoi 4 too much. Remilitarization. Oh, yes. 
DVP holds to power. Very cool. It does not have national spirit effects of the Vienna stock market crash. Okay. Yeah, we should probably do that one. Hey, it's a second Russian civil war. Um, do we really want to help these guys out? I um, mean, it would be good to get some army XP. Can we send them some dudes? We might try to send them some dudes. You know, I'm going to send some cavalry. Why not? We got enough divisions here, and I want to make sure that the cavalry are like the special forces for us. So, Mehmet Pasha. I'm oh, Mehmet Pasha. Thank you. Nice. I, I really want some more army XP, so. Oh, actually, that's not bad to get. Well, that one first. I want to be able to build more, 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 more. There you go. Very good. They've arrived. Awesome. And devalue the lira. Ooh, we want to get rid of those debuffs as fast as possible. Ah, actually, you lose consumer goods fast. Ah. Devaluing the lira will reduce the cost of our exports and can help lower our trade deficits. This is a major reform that will help our economic situation in the long run. Because I would love to get these guys artillery on these... On these guys, because this is going to be our special forces, basically. So, and they can move pretty quickly. So I like that a lot about them. Uh, we're really out of a lot of stuff here. I decided we're not going to be using tanks in this campaign, just because, or at least for now, just because it takes so long to get stuff like that. So, and we don't really have the industry to support it. So let's go get some of that too, and improve working conditions, because currently we're getting 0.88, which is not too bad. So for this campaign, because we're pushing on so quickly, we're about. 17 minutes into this video almost, but I'm probably going to have to choose one of these two, and I've already pretty much decided. For this campaign, I want to go empower the parliament. I want to try that. Next time, we'll dissolve the parliament, maybe, because I don't want to lose any more political power, and to really piss people off, you just dissolve parliament, so, yeah. Sometimes you want to dissolve parliament, sometimes you probably don't. Oh, yeah, get all that XP. Honestly, he looks really weird, but that's just me, maybe. Um, I want to save my political power. What type of field marshal do I want, or do we want? Uh, I'm going to go with Mustafa Kemal Pasha. Just because he's pretty experienced. He seems like a good guy. Adaptable. Aggressive assaulter. Offensive. I wish I went defensive, but whatever. It's alright. This guy's getting really bagged. Wow. Mehmet Kazim Pasha. I hope you're learning a lot. I hope we don't lose starts and that'd be really bad. Construction speed? Yes, please. Thank you. Man, them Soviet boys, they, they they really attacking hard. Holy crap. Italy gains independence. Good job, Italy. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten any more experience yet, but that's okay. Oh, crap. We were defeated. Get your butts back in there, boy. All right, after that, it's almost May. Public works. Begin the public works. By creating jobs, we will funnel more and more money back into the hands of the people. With the money they can earn, they earn from the public works, they will be able to provide for their families and spend on goods and services. Their spending will stimulate the economy. But how do we how do we give the money? We gotta tax other people first. Oh crowd, you, you lost it, so don't even try to fight to get it back yet. Oh, you're still getting attacked. Okay. Um yeah, I mean, they're, they're highly on uh, getting goods first, so... You know what? Go ahead and improve working conditions. I want more stability. I don't care what it costs here, so... Man, these guys suck. Screw it. These divisions need it. Um, wow, well, we don't have enough for that, huh? Alright, well, whatever. Man, they are just... Walloping our dudes. More defense and organization, very good. Good graciousness. Wow. This is incredibly bloody. We've lost 7,000. I mean, we can afford it for the most part, but geez, Louise. Oh, we need better guns. Oh, crap, I didn't even realize that. We don't have any motorized either. Oh, happy June 1st, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Or, I guess, great month. Yeah, our guy's looking really bad, so... This isn't very good. That helps with artillery and guns a little bit, so it's not bad. Oh, looks like the Russians are actually doing fairly okay. They do have some tanks, so that does help out. 
And the next research will be done in a few months. Yep, they're definitely getting pushed back now. We love it. Goodbye, Amelia Earhart. Nice. Okay, so after this one, we could do this stuff over here. It probably would honestly be worth doing, but it takes so long to do, and getting another research slot would be nice. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be on this side, maybe. Uh, empower the Parliament would not be bad. Reforms would be good. Uh, screw it. We're gonna go this way. Empower the Parliament. The Parliament is the only thing that can truly keep the Sultan in check. For years it has become just that. However, it is clear that the Sultan is unfit to lead in the modern era. He is simply out of his depth. We must empower the Parliament to give them a better chance of fixing our broken nation. So hopefully we can do well with this one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yep. There goes France. They're fighting somebody currently. That's a good one to take out, because then they can kill these guys off. Hopefully, maybe. Oh, that sucks. How is he not learning anything yet? Help out, help out. Nice, not bad. Got a few trucks. Krasnodar is the only one you really need to get, so. Wow. Ah, we're fighting Zukov or T Timoshenko now, I guess. Good. Still keep going, still keep going. Construction 2 is nice. Let's have some better guns, shall we? The Ankara ATF M38. Every time I see the ATF, I feel like, hmm. I don't like that feeling when I see the ATF. Promises of peace, improved working conditions, 50% stability ain't bad. Partial mobilization it is, though. There you go. Nice. Well, we're doing the best part we can to help out the Russians, which is weird coming from the Turks, but whatever. What the ultimates, I should really say. Privatization. Well, that's gone. Still 37. Uh, let's grab some more cap. That would probably be pretty useful. Maybe some more extraction, even though we can't really extract too much of stuff we don't have originally. So, Empower the Parliament. I want to get through this as fast as possible. Mesidian reforms? Um, yeah, get more political power. Why not? Reform the Constitution. The Constitution of 1876 has been the motor of, of Ottoman rule since 1908. There's no doubt that it is flawed. Let's see if we can fix it. Hopefully we don't piss off too many people. Oh, Sublime Committee for the Constitution. Alright, so we have one event here that is extremely long. We haven't had that many others. Our illustrious Sultan Abdul Masih II announced today his welcoming support for a new constitution that will seek to address the issues of a new century. Under his benevolent guidance, a sublime committee for the constitution is to be formed for a law of experts and members of major political parties. The sublime committee for the constitution has been working tirelessly to write a new constitution. The parliament has restarted the process of approving the independent articles and submitting them for the ratification by His Majesty the Sultan. Article 1. The Ottoman Empire comprises the present territory and position and semi-dependent provinces. It forms an indivisible whole from which no portion can be detached under a pretext whatever. Uh, what? Any pretext. Article 2. Constantia is the capital of the Ottoman Empire. Article 3. Islam is a state religion. The state will protect the free exercise of faith possessed in the empire and uphold the religious privileges granted to various bodies. Article 4. Turkish is a fingal, official language and is required to hold public office. 5. The Ottoman sovereignty, which holds the title of Supreme Cal Caliph of Islam, belongs to the eldest prince of the House of Osman, in accordance with the rules established by Ab Antiquo. 6. 
His Majesty the Sultan and his Royal Supreme Caliph as a protector of the Muslim religion. He is the sovereign Padishah of all Ottomans. Seven. The Ma Majesty the Sultan is irresponsible. His person is sacred. Eight. The liberties, properties, real and personal, and the civil list of the members of the Ottoman dynasty are under the guarantee of all. Nine. Among the sovereign rights of His Majesty the Sultan are the following prerogatives. He makes and cancels the appointments of ministers. He confers the grades, functions, and signia of his orders, and confers investiture on the governors of provinces according to forms and determined by the privileges granted them. He has a coining of money. His name is read at the Friday sermons. He concludes treaties with powers. He declares war and makes peace. He commands the land and sea forces. He directs military movements. He carries out the provisions of the sacred law and of the other laws. He sees to the administration of public measures. He respites or commutes sentences pronounced by the criminal courts. Article 10. All subjects of the empire are called Ottomans without distinction whatever faith they possess. P process. Profess. 11. Every Ottoman enjoys personal liberty on condition of not interfering with the liberty of others. 12. Personal liberty is wholly inviolable. No one can suffer punishment under any pretext whatsoever except in cases determined by law and according to the forms prescribed by it. 13. All Ottomans are equal in the eyes of the law. They have the same rights and owe the same duties toward their countries without prejudice to religion. 14. All Ottomans are admitted to public offices according to their fitness, merit, and ability. Long live the empire. Cool. Ottoman Constitution. Houses of Parliament. In the Constitution of 1876, the Houses of the Parliament were established comprising of a lower house and an upper house. The Grand Vizier, handpicked by the Sultan, presided over the House of Parliament. The Liberal members of the committee are arguing that the Grand Vizier, by extension the rest of the government, should be decided by voters, not an imperial decision of the monarch. Hmm. Well, we'll think about that. Parliamentary schedule. In the old constitution, Sultan had the rights to open, prorogue, and dissolve the parliament. As there had been a notorious occasion when Sultan Abdul Hamid II abused his powers to prorogue the parliament and not call off another session for 30 years, many liberal members of the Sublime Committee are wary of allowing such powers again. What shall be the decision? Let's have it set by this constitution, and then, and the Sultan will appoint the Grand Vizier. How about that? Balance. Veto rights. Another contentious issue was the veto rights of the Sultan. Monarchists and conservative members of the committee insisted that the Sultan, who represents a collective will of the Ottoman public, should have unchallenged veto powers, while liberal MPs pushed for supremacy of the parliament. Sultan gets the last word. A veto can be overturned by two-thirds majority. I think we'll go with that one just because I'm an American, so that sounds really cool. So, I think that just makes sense. Uh, right to petition. Article 63 of the Constitution states that one or more persons of Ottoman nationality have the right of presenting petitions in the proper quarter relating to the breaking of law and regulation, and may likewise present an in protest signed petitions to the General Ottoman Assembly complaining of the conduct of state servants and functionaries. While this article by itself seems sufficiently just, several members of the Sublime Committee suggest that minorities should be explicitly allowed to present petitions in local languages. As not stating this would allow a loophole where local governments could arbitrarily not to, to process. Process. Petitions written in languages other than Turkish. Mm, I'll go with this one in local languages, but that's probably one of the last ones we'll do here. The new constitution has been declared. Okay. The new Ottoman constitution was declared in the front garden of ancient Topkapi Tol Palace today, with an accompanying ceremony and a military parade. May new kunun i asasi be auspicious. Long live the Sultan. Oh, we reformed the constitution. Is it, is, it's that easy to reform the constitution. Cool. Uh, enforce the rule of law. So to do this, we can get rid of the OD, OPDA before we can make these investments. All right, and fight the corruption and stuff. Enforce the rule of law, which would be pretty nice. Reforms? Judicial reforms. Uh, yeah, why not get more political power? It's clear that we need judiciary reforms. Without these reforms, new laws will take years to be passed. Furthermore, we need to find new ways to reduce the corrupt state it is in. We need reforms, and we need them now. Yeah, we definitely went with a compromised uh, constitution. Yeah, I mean... Do you want just people rebelling again and again and again? Maybe, and that way you have justification for putting people down in some that some might say are war crimes, but you know, as long as you don't get punished, like, are they really war crimes? Are they really crimes if you don't get punished? Asking the real questions here. But I like that. I like the little flavor we get for the Constitution. I think that's really good. Hmm. Independence of the Judiciary. Our chief legal arg experts argued that in the decision-making process, judges should have the freedom to decide cases impartially, in accordance with their interpretation of the law and the facts. That they claim there should be one should be, uh, they should be able to act without any restriction or improper influence. They claim that one of the most important standards underpinning the autonomy of the judiciary is immovability, that is, for ordinary judges to be appointed permanently until retirement. Shall we give each such guarantees of independence to our judges? Hmm.
Well, well, let's do this one for more stability. Even though that opens it, that in itself is a whole can of worms, and it sounds nice, but sometimes it could work, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, we're going to collapse anyways eventually, right? Don't all empires unfortunately do? Yeah, we're doing better on guns and artillery, so that's pretty good. More stability helps out. Up next, I'm probably just going to go to limited exports. Well, actually, hold on. No, there's no point to, because I can't even get any of this, so it'd be just a waste. We do need more steel, but we don't have it. We don't need it now, so. Hot military are high command. Infantry, not bad. Attack and defense. Screens, okay. And I'll probably go next with uh, Captain of Industry, Yemen. Oh. Ooh. Watch not good. Foolish Alliance. Um. Oh, that's not good. Maybe I should move you guys up. Uh, let's go to... Hmm. I don't want to lose anything here, really. I'm going to go to the tip to Baghdad. Like, we... Actually, we'll do something like this. And we'll go all the way to Damascus. There we go. There we go. Maybe that will work out for us. Maybe not. Who knows? I don't know. Just in case, I want you guys... Uh, wrong group. God dang it. That was the wrong thing. I should not click on. But it doesn't take too long. Uh, that side. I would like to get that area back, though. Adrianople. Maybe we'll beat up the, Bul the Bulgarians again sometime. Just for fun. Once we uh, get rid of our deaths and any potential enemies like so. Like that, so. Nice. There you go. I was looking for these guys. I saw five. I was thinking, oh, we probably have to go up here, don't we? Aleppo? What is Aleppo? Uh, anything there? Not really. How about for field marshals? Yes. Offensive? Cool. Charismatic? Sure, why not? Alright, anyone here? Do you have anything here? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to go scavenger? No. We only have one trade slot, and I want to see if we need more defense first, so we'll wait. I think it's best to wait for that. Uh, does anyone have your... Up, up? You're not learning Jack Squad, are you? Again, I guess you're not fighting that much, but still. Help out, help out. Well, we got 20 army XP. It's not as much as I would have liked, but hey, it is what it is. Just get to Krasnodar and they will fall. Financial expert. We gotta build, 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 build. I'll build some roads up too. Um, As much as, as cool as that would be, let's do that one first. We need some military factories realistically, so. Alright, bureaucratic reforms. Why not? Similarly to the judicial reforms, we need to limit corruption and fix our lawmaking, or else it will take years for any change to really happen. Does Greece have a unique uh, thing here? Yeah, they do. That's actually really cool. But again, I don't think anyone ever asked for me to place Greece, so. It is 38, so happy 1938. We're going to grab some more research speed, shall we? And we actually have a tiny, tiny surplus of guns. Nice. Well, we better keep that surplus, because we're going to need it for where we're headed, so... Uh, for now, I might add on two more combo with those guys. I think we could really use some more cavalry here. Oh, we can use cavalry too. I never use cavalry though. That'd be really cool to use it sometime though. I don't think they're as good though as horses. They use slightly less supply. Same organization. A little more HP. Oh, the speed goes down. Yeah, I can't. I can't have that less speed. So. Nice. Now we're out of guns again. Oh, by quite a bit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There goes the Balkan League. Ah, oh, the Balkan League. Nice. Let's go and grab some more defense. That'd be really good. It's only 2% more breakthrough in defense, but hey, I'll take it. Wow. Kind of ballsy, I'd say, but hey, you know what? I don't think the Russians are going to be able to do too much here. Or the Soviets, really. We can play as this group sometime. Nice. Uh, promises of peace? Nah. We okay. We don't need that. Oh, hope you like 1968. Th 68, 38. Sorry, too much TNO. Uh, 38, 38, 38. There you go. Oh, you're actually getting attacked too. Are the Finns down here? No. That'd be kind of cool if the Finns were helping out. You're seriously not learning anything, are you? Now, he's supposed to be probably a uh, field marshal, but whatever.
Nice. Alright, after that, I would love to do this one. I really want to rush through all of these just because... I want to prevent any sort of decline. So, without an effective administration running the country, there's no hope of our nation recovering. We shall begin writing reform laws and putting them into place in hopes of making changes for the better. Which sounds like a really good thing, doesn't it? Oh, wait, what? Oh, uh, look, it's Mexico. Um... We have received numerous reports from the Egyptian troops are currently massing that a great deal of reconnaissance is taking place across the Ottoman border. Military officials say it's clear that the Sultan of Egypt is planning an invasion of the Ottoman Empire, one that could begin any time within the next several weeks. We must get ready. How many divisions do these guys have? Two, oh, uh, how many? Um, hmm. I don't know what we might end up doing, though. Instead of having a line... I don't know if these guys are going to rebel in here, though. If that's the case... I might just put one guy against these fine, fine Persian folk. I might have you guys attempt to just hold the line here. Oh, actually, no. Give me nine guys. Yeah, I'll do something like this. I don't want you eight to hold the line, but realistically... You're just going to be somewhat holding the line as I'm going to be spreading around the horses. The horses are going to go crazy here. And we're really going to strip to cut these guys off. Maybe this could work out. The third Balkan War. I'll, oh, centralization or decentralization? Well, Article 108 of the Ottoman Constitution declares that the Vilayets shall be governed by the principle of decentralization. This de jure principle has never transformed into action. Now that our sweeping administrative reforms are underway, the proponents of the doctrine of Adim e Merkaziyet are again asserting that subordinating local decision-making to the central bureaucracy results in tremendous inefficiency and pointless delays. With their distant subjects chafing under the direct rule of Constantia, it would be wise to give more power to local governments over centuries appointed governors. Shall we grant greater powers and freedoms to the administrative councils of our vilayets? No reforms? Um, sure, why not? You can have a little bit more freedom. Demand? Oh, yeah. Ooh, actually, they're currently fighting a war, aren't they? Um, we could try it. To move our troops into position? Oh, uh, well. Risk our entanglement in the war. That could actually go really badly for us. I'm just going to beat them up. Can we manually justify on them? No, we can't. Ah, uh, no. Hmm. There you go. Good luck. Hopefully we can hold the line here just slightly. Like, I'm not expecting much, but just slightly. <sighs> Screw it. You know what? I don't want to lose these horses, but maybe we could do this. Go, 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 go. So it would help if we had these horses back too, so. Are we actually winning up here in Krasnodar? Uh, maybe we want to help out, help out here first. Oh, you might still win up there. Nice. Yeah, just hold against those guys. Yeah, that'd be nice. Our horses, are you there yet? Oh, they're, they're almost. They're almost there. They're getting there. The question of Karzali and Adrianople. With Bulgaria now embroiled in a war with the Balkan League, a question has now risen within the halls of government as to whether we should, too, reclaim these lands which are rightfully ours. Since the end of the Valkyrie, Bulgaria has occupied the lands in Thrace and Adrianople, which are largely both Muslim and Turkish. Surely they would see reason if their old ally asked for them to be handed over. We're not even over there. They agree. Good. Seeing in the wisdom of not pursuing a two-front war, Bulgaria has agreed to return the lands of Karzali and Adrianople to us. Very wise. Very wise. We love it. Thank you for my cores back. Don't make me come back over there, though. Because we will eventually come back over there, probably. Cool. And look at all that political power. I love it. It's great, 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 great. Just in case, though, I'm going to go and grab this, attack and defense for infantry, so we're going to need that against the Persians. I can guarantee you that we're going to need that against the Persians. Can you actually win down here? No, you suck. Okay. Well, bad words. God dang it, bad word -erinos. Yes, yes. We love the Germans. We love the Austro-Hungarians. Well, 
You guys go there, and then you guys, well, good luck. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Get that general. Oh, yeah, that field marshal's gonna be real nice. Do we have our horses down here? God dang it, we don't. Did you guys just go in? Come on, horses, hurry up. Prepare defense. Yes, 10% more defense and organization. Let's grab some grand assault. But I think that might just end it here for us today just because, well, I think this video's gone long enough. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will try our best to hold off against the Arab League and try not to get all of our soldiers killed off, and hopefully our soldiers won't be training. Uh, did I already say it? leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below? I can't remember, but regardless, catch you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.